Hey guys, what's up? It's App06 here, and today I will be giving you guys my top five essential must have jailbreak tweaks for the iPad 2 and iPad 1. These are, in my opinion, five jailbreak tweaks slash apps that work best with the iPad 2 and really make the iPad 2 jailbreak worth it. Of course, these are my personal top favorite five jailbreak tweaks, so if you have a suggestion, please leave it in the comments section below. Either way, let's go ahead and get started with the video off with number one. Number one is Full Force. Full Force is an awesome jailbreak tweak that allows you to convert native iPhone applications into native iPad applications. So right here we have Tweetbot, which does not have an iPad version. And if we open up Tweetbot, we get a full screen native iPad application that works pretty much just fine. Now, unfortunately, Full Force can't convert everything exactly perfectly. As you can see, these buttons are not centered. And if you slide to the left to view some replies, the wallpaper um, is basically only the iPhone wallpaper. But other than that, Full Force does a pretty good job of converting an iPhone application that would run, you know, kind of small or blurry into a native iPad application. Now, where Full Force can't work, that's where the number two tweet comes in, and that is Retina Pad. Retina Pad is basically the alternative if Full Force doesn't work. So if we take a another native iPhone application like Expenditure, you can convert the, as long as it has Retina Graphics, which is of course 960 by 640. When you hit the times two button, there's no pixelation whatsoever as it's running at native 960 by 640. So Retina Pad will work with any jailbreak or any native iPhone application that has Retina Graphics and is a really great alternative, especially if full force doesn't work or if you do not want to buy the iPad version of your app, you can save money by using Retina Pad as it does get near full screen with Retina Pad. Retina Pad is on the Cydia store. Next up here, we have Folder Enhancer. A lot of you guys have heard or seen of this tweak, but I still think it's necessary to include in my top five list because it's so awesome. So you can, you know, you can have folders in folders, you can have um, pages and folders like I showed previously and there are just so many options and the really the selling point for me is just how quickly they open and how smoothly they open. It's really quick, really fast and there are so many more options but I do not have time to show you in this video. If you'd like to see another video on Full Force please check it out on Looks my like channel. You. Coming in at number four we have Safari Download Manager. Safari Download Manager is an awesome tweak that makes your iPad nearly as powerful as a computer as you can now download files just as you would on your Mac or PC. So right here we have a suave HD pack and we're just going to hit download and we're going to hit this red download button right here but of course you can always download it to a certain location. So at the top left corner of our iPad we have a new uh, button right there as you can see with a badge and that is where the downloaded file is downloading. This is now the fourth time I've downloaded the file just because I've kind of been playing around with it. But as you can see right here, it downloads just as quickly as it would on your computer, you know, normal internet speed, and it basically downloads it as a zip file. And that brings us into our last tweak, which is iFile, because iFile allows you to, when you open it in iFile, assuming you have iFile, you can even unarchive or view the files, zip files on your um, iPad but iFile doesn't stop there because it's a fully featured, basically, finder for your iPad. You can copy and paste files, edit files, play files, view files, you name it. iFile can pretty much do it all, and it is a regularly updated iPad and iPhone application. Of course, it works on both the iPhone and the iPad, and there are just so many options to, that you can use with it, and it's great for editing themes and P-list files on your iPad. So definitely check out iFile because it's really one of the best. Last up here, we have our bonus tweak. This tweak is not necessarily an essential tweak, but I still think it is a really fun tweak to use. And a lot of you guys may have seen it on the iPhone or iPod Touch, but it is a much better experience on the 9.7 inch iPad screen. And that tweak is called grab a board. So if I activate grab a board by holding the home button, in this case, all the icons start to be affected by gravity. As you can see, I tilt the iPad and the icons follow suit. And what's also cool is you can even fling the icons around and they'll bounce off of each other and they have somewhat realistic physics. See, I just flung that icon around 
and it's a really cool tweak just to kind of play around with when you're bored or just something cool to show off because a lot of people find it really interesting. But that is Gravaboard. There are more options and more settings to configure, but definitely check out Gravaboard in the Cydia store. So that's it for my top five jailbreak tweaks for the iPad 2 and of course that bonus tweak that you just saw. If you like this video, please give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe somewhere up there. Follow me on Twitter at AppOSX and at iOSUDID. And of course, check out iOSUDID.com to register your iPhone, iPod Touch, or iPad with iOS 5 beta. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching.